darksome night and shining moon, balance of the dark and the light. Hearken ye, O witches, rune, as we perform our sacred rite. Hey guys, it's KK Witchy. Hope you guys are doing good today. So today's video is going to be about Dragon's Blood Risen, um, different ways you can use it, and also I'm going to go over some medical properties as well as magical properties in this video. Now before we do get into that, I want to put a dis, you know, just a disclosure um, that I am not a doctor, so if you feel like you would like to, you know, take this herb, make sure you consult it with, with your doctor and make sure, also make sure that you're not... Um, allergic to any kind of herb or resin that you're using at the time because you know um, if you're new to using this herb you know you may not know that if you're allergic to it or not so just be uh, careful when when using the herb now I also want to say that there is some of the dragon's blood out there that is toxic so definitely be careful do your research of where you're getting um, the resin from or you know make sure you know where you're getting the resin from and make sure that it's not um, the toxic kind. Uh, from what I do understand, tox the to the one that is toxic is really, really extremely hard to get off of. Um, if you get your herbs from Mountain Rose Herbs, I know they're um, uh, they don't sell the toxic kind, so you're good there. And I'll post a link down below. Um, that way, you'll be able to find that site. Now, it is very, very expensive. So it's not definitely a cheap herb. As you can see right here, I've just got a little bit because I'm broke, bitch. <laughs> but yeah, but that's my dragon's blood and I've just got a tiny bit of it. Um, but it's definitely useful and it's well worth the investment once you can save your money up and get it. So I'm going to go over the medical properties first and then we'll go over the magical. Again, I'm not a doctor. So um, I'm just kind of sharing the information. So you can also feel free to research um, if you would like to on, you know, books or social media or not social media, but Google, um, different types of that. And you can also discuss with different people that have taken the herb, um, you know, and kind of get their perspective on it and stuff like that. So let's get started. Okay, okay guys. So we'll go ahead over and get some of the um, medical properties out of the way first. So first of all, it's really, really good for uh, skin. And it's also good for healing cuts. So if you have uh, acne prone skin, which I have, I've suffered from it from all my life, which you guys probably know that from previous videos I've done. Um, you can make it into a face wash. You can, you know, wash it in the morning or at night. It's definitely super great for your skin. Um, so keep that in mind. It's also been used in the past to make toothpaste. So um, if you want to know a little bit more about that, you can kind of Google research that. I don't know a whole lot about making toothpaste. So, but it has been made made toothpastes in the past. It's also great for diarrhea. Um, you know, if your tummy's having really really bad problems, um, so it's great for taking that, make it into a tincture form, and take about maybe. Um, like uh, two to three drops a day, really good for uh, getting your stomach back into that, you know, happy place. It's also great for spider bites. So if you were to get uh, bit by a spider and you also um, put it on the same day, make it into kind of like a like a, a cream in a way to put it on your skin. It's great for healing. Also um, stops the pain immediately from everybody that I've spoken with um, over this risen. Um, you make it into that. You put it on the spider bite, um, definitely stops the pain immediately, but you also definitely want to go to the doctor to make sure that, you know, you're not, nothing else is going on. So make sure you do seek medical attention. Um, I am so sorry. There is a yappy chihuahua out. Excuse me. I'll be right back. I'm going to make, wake my son up and now our neighbors are yelling at it. So I'll be right okay, back. Okay, guys, I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, people around here don't know how to watch over their animals correctly, so I do apologize for that. Um, so we'll go ahead and got to figure out where I was at. Okay, it's also great for uh, chest pains. Been taken it into a capsule. You can also buy like little capsule forms online and then put put it into a powder and put it into the capsules itself and take them. Um, you know, a capsule a day. 
great for chest pains and also keep also that um, helps a lot with the skin problems as well taking it into a capsule um, again if you are having chest pains seek a medical attention immediately so um, really great for that again great with acne make it into a face wash or a spray or even putting it into like a roller form where you put oils in it's also a great way um, to do that as well. So next we're going to go over the magical properties um, for this herb. Again, not really a cheap herb. It's one of the more expensive ones, but definitely worth the investment. So uh, the first thing I want to go over with that is uh, meditation. Great for burning in for like a cold disc. You can, it's great for meditation, cleansing the area, and um, also getting your aura back to where it belongs. Um, it's also great for peace magic. So what I mean by that is if you live in a house where it's just really, really chaotic and you really don't get um, time for yourself or the kids are always fighting or the husband's always bitching or the wife's always bitching or anything of that sort, you can grind the risen up, put it with um, salt and sugar in a little bottle and place it somewhere where no one can find it. That will promote peace into the house. And you'll have a peaceful night or day whenever you wish to um, do the spell work. So it's great for peace work. Also, uh, really, really highly recommended for protection magic. Um, I know a lot of Native Americans actually use that as uh, uh, some of us use sage to cleanse the area and ward off um, negative spirits that may come into the household or the sacred area that they're getting ready to uh, start their ritual with. So it's great for um, protection magic. Also, it's really, really high recommended, uh, recommended in like exorcism, exorcisms of banishing um, as well, negative spirits or negative energies that's around the, the, the area. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. It's also great for love magic. Um, I know tons of people that do use this as um, love magic. They put it in sachets and all kinds of stuff. You know, love incense, loose incense to make it that grind up for the powdery form of the incense. So a lot of people like making love incense with it. Um, you can also, let's see, what's another thing you can do? Um, a lot of people like to burn dragon's blood to attract a new lover or... Um, make one make an old lover return so it's great for that um, may put it like an outside bonfire or something burn that and then think of the person and then there you go um, that person may come back to you uh, or it may attract a new lover you know it just depends so definitely great for um, those types of magics now again uh, some of these uh, be really, really careful about the dragon's blood you choose because some is toxic. So just make sure that you know where you're getting the, or make sure you know where you're getting the risen from and maybe, you know, the person where they got it from. But definitely ones that sell in Mountain Rose Herbs, they don't sell the toxic ones. So I'll post, again, I'll post them down below. But then are just some of the magical uh, ways you can use um, dragon's blood. I know a lot of people like to um, also... Something that I do that's really, really, um, not really odd, but again, where it's great for protection, you can grind it up and then put it on the window seals. Uh, mix that with a little bit of salt to also keep negative spirits from coming into um, your house. So it's great for that as well. That's also something that you can do. And you know, it's also great for mixing with other protection herbs as well. You know, you don't have to have this certain herb. This is just some information I'm sharing with you. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me um, or anything like that. So you could, you know, message me on Facebook or whatever. Um, or email me, you know, kkwitchy at gmail.com. Um, so, yeah, anyway, you need to get a hold of me. Just get a, you know, there's different ways. So, I hope you guys have a great day, great night whenever you're watching this video, and many blessings.